Mel B is furious with Posh Spice for nixing another comeback plan for the Spice Girls. Katy Perry kisses a comedian and she likes it. And Liam Gallagher reckons that he's an aficionado that should be on X Factor. And in Australia, Harry Connick Jr. gets all racial. I'm Peter Jarrett. I'm black. I'm back. And this is Gossip TV. the Americans getting things wrong again. Some quarters are feigning outrage over the blackface makeup used on a recent Paris Vogue shoot featuring Dutch model Laura Stone. The October issue was shot by American lenser Stephen Klein and styled by Vogue Paris's editor-in-chief Karine Reutfeld. The politically correct in the good old US of A are upset that although the issue is dedicated to supermodels, no African-American models are featured in the magazine's pages. So, neither are any Chinese, Indian or Martian models. As a model in the past, I've been blacked up myself for shoots that required it. So, step off America. Ooh, that's controversial. Disclaimer. These opinions are not necessarily the opinions of Gossip TV. I'm not even sure they're mine. What do I know? Light Fingers Lindsay Lohan is at it again. The Five Finger Discount Princess has been accused of misappropriating fashion one more time. This time, the low hands swept away from Paris laden with accessories from label Ariel de Pinto. Lindsay quickly cancelled the credit card she used as collateral. Lindsay tweeted in retort to the allegations that the rumour was nothing more than a lame lie. She twatted on that the people at the Paris company were her friends and they all had a good laugh at this. Lindsay's camp claims that the scantress borrowed the items for a party, after which she put them in her dinky carry-on luggage come wet bar and flew out of the country. Don't lend this chick a fiver, ever. I feel sexier in the nude, Christina. It may come as no massive surprise, but women are really beautiful in every single way. At least that's what Christina Aguilera believes. She said, I've always had fun playing up to my sexual side. I think that women are such sensual beings. Honestly, if I had a choice between viewing a naked man or a naked woman, I'd choose the woman. We're just naturally sexier and more beautiful to look at. When you see something you dislike and your partner embraces it, it makes you feel good, you know. The scars of life are beautiful, she said. The 28-year-old has never been shy of experimentation, least of all in her sense of style, but said that her self-confidence has blossomed since becoming a mother. It's important to keep a strong sense of yourself when you're a mum. You're still you, and you can still be confident in your sexuality, she added. The full interview of Christina in The Raw appears in November's issue of Cosmopolitan. Reality killed a video star while well, it almost killed the paparazzi. Robbie Williams, who's back in the UK limelight with his many PAs and mag interviews for his new single Bodies, off his new album Reality Killed the Video Star, has had a series of near disastrous episodes. Not only was he present when Danny Minogue made her unfortunate gay bisexual whatever slurs about X Factor contestant Daniel live on UK telly in front of millions of viewers, but the chauffeur-driven car he was a passenger in accidentally ran over a teenage pap, pinning the youngster's legs under the car for some time. Williams's handlers transferred the rude box boy to another car while rescuers worked to free the lad Lenzer. Robbie was visibly shaken but made no attempt to assist the victim, which was sensible as his presence outside of the car would have led to a Robbie mobbing, which probably would have left the injured lad trampled. The teenager's entries were not thought to be serious and he was taken to hospital. The incident is expected to cost Robbie some serious wonga. Brighton's Inc., the fab over 25's exclusive cocktail and champagne bubble that Gossip reported on recently, making it Gossip's most watched episode, announces its friendship with Virgin Atlantic Airways on October 29th as I and owner Zoe Urban host a party for Virgin's Onboard Entertainment and Alliances division. Virgin's high-flying honchos will be feted and made welcome in Inc.'s Champagne Lounge as a select party of magazine editors, journos and businessmen gather to learn of Virgin's growing alliances concept. 
This fabulous liaison was initiated by my own PR company, Peter Jarrett's Rock Hard and Fruity Promotions, and among other magazines expected to be present, Absolute Brighton Magazine, and especially my monthly column in Absolute, will have pics and details of the night in their November issue. Gossip has one shout-out to Carol Cleveland, Monty Python's Straight Lady, whose show, Pom Poms Up, I just saw in Brighton at the latest music bar. Good luck, Carol, for your American Red Carpet show in New York City to celebrate the 40th anniversary of Monty Python. And that's our bunch of stories for this edition. Happy anniversary to the Monty Pythons. Well, look for me on Facebook, Peter Jarrett, Brighton and Hoof Network, and look for me on Twitter, Socialite Pete. I'm Peter Jarrett, and this has been Gossip TV.